What does respiration mean? Respiration is a basic process or a physiochemical process. It is generally known as metabolic process. First of all, what does respiration mean? A physiochemical process where food is oxidized and potential energy stored in cellular food is converted and released as kinetic energy and heat energy and consequently carbon dioxide is produced is called respiration. So respiration is a process by which potential energy converted into kinetic energy or food energy converted into heat energy or use of energy with the help of this process, this physiochemical process. There are mainly two types of cellular respiration process or main respiration process. One of them is aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is a respiration that produces carbon dioxide as byproducts and energy, usable energy, kinetic energy or heat energy. <clears throat> From one molecules of glucose, it produces or converted in presence of six molecules of oxygen produces six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water and 38 ATP. ATP full form of ADP is adenosine triphosphate. If we break this ATP, it can convert it into ADP and AMP. ADP means adenosine diphosphate and AMP means adenosine monophosphate. And from one molecule of glucose convert it into 38 ATP or 686 kilocalorie energy. The second one is anaerobic respiration. With the help of this respiration, with the help of this respiration, a little amount of energy produced in lower organism. From one molecule of glucose, in absence of oxygen, it produces two molecules of ethanol or ethyl alcohol and two molecules of carbon dioxide and a little amount of ATP or 8 ATP or 56 kilocalorie energy. So what are the main differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration? In, an, in aerobic respiration, oxygen is needed, but there is no oxygen or oxygen is not needed during an aerobic respiration. During aerobic respiration, from one molecule of glucose converted into 38 ATP or 686 kilocalorie energy. But in anaerobic respiration, from one molecule of glucose, it converted, converted into 8 ATP or 56 kilocalorie energy or in aerobic respiration 6 molecules of carbon dioxide is produced from 1 molecule of glucose but in anaerobic respiration 2 molecules of carbon dioxide produced from 1 molecule of glucose. In anaerobic respiration, two molecules of incomplete carbohydrate substance, two carbon carbohydrate substance, two carbon carbohydrate substance produces named ethanol or ethyl alcohol. There is no waste product or unrespired product in aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration generally occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria. First steps occur in cytoplasm and the next steps occur in the mitochondria of a cell but in anaerobic respiration this respiration or anaerobic respiration occur in the cytoplasm of a cell in lower organisms there are mainly four steps of aerobic respiration such as glycolysis formation of acetyl coa Krebs cycles electron transport systems and the an an anaerobic respiration there is only two processes, two steps, one complete and one in incomplete stage. First step is glycolysis, is the common between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. The second step is incomplete formation of acetyl coa two carbon compound, two molecules of ethyl alcohol produced in anaerobic respiration. Now what are the organs interrelated with the respiratory system? in animal respiratory system and in plant respiratory system. In animal respiratory system, there are mainly four parts associated with the respiration in different organisms. First of all, skin. 
with the help of skin a little amount of respiration occur in the higher organism this respiration is generally known as critical respiration and second one is tracheal respiration trachea means windpipe with the help of windpipe or trachea tracheal respiration occur it's generally known as pharyngeal respiration also gill respiration or gills respiration that occur in the aquatic organisms in aquatic organisms they receive dissolved oxygen from the water with the help of these gills gill respiration and last one is lungs lungs is the main respiratory organs of human body or other higher organisms with the help of lungs higher organisms exchange the gases during inhalation and exhalation lungs contain different types of alveolus or alveolar substance and blood capillaries that exchange gaseous substance and respiration and plant respiratory organs the organ that take part in respiration in plant body is plant respiratory organ there are mainly three plant respiratory organs are there stomata lenticels and cuticle are the three main respiratory organ of plant stomata with the help of stomata stomata generally known as leaf pore with the help of guard cell this pore is produced Guard cell. When guard cell flexes, it, it becomes closed stomata. When guard cell uh, and rigid, it becomes closed stomata. And when guard cell is flexed, it becomes open stomata. So guard cell control the open and closed stomata. Stomata means leaf pore. With the help of this pore, transpiration of plant occur simultaneously. Respiration also. transpiration during transpiration excess water release from plant in this moment oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange with the help of this pore with the help of vaporization process and diffusion process also interrelated with respiration lenticels is a young cells that produce during secondary growth of plant during secondary growth of plant the stem of the plant ruptured when the stem is ruptured then it produce it produce young cells for covering the ruptured part these young cell are not compact there are huge intermolecular space with the help of intermolecular or intercellular space a little amount of water and gases exchange occur and last one is cuticular respiration with the help of cuticle or skin the respiration that occur with the help of cuticle and skin of plant is cuticular respiration during young or green stem the covering membrane is green and there intermolecular or intercellular space is used with the help of this intermolecular or intercellular space a huge amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange during transpiration during transpiration is known as cuticular transpiration during cuticular transpiration respiration also occur that is why it is known as cuticular respiration or cuticle is a respiratory organ now how many types of respiration are there in living organisms now types of respiration there are mainly external and internal respiration in higher organism or human external respiration are generally known as breathing in and out inhalation or exhalation or inspiration or air expiration inhalation is known as breathing in or receive oxygen from the air with the help of diffusion process and the second one is exhalation process release carbon dioxide from the thoracic cavity or chest cavity to the outer end membrane with the help of diffusion process also so with the help of diffusion process exchange of gases occur during inhalation and exhalation process in human and other higher organisms second one is intercellular respiration intercellular respiration means inside the cell that is respiration that occur inside the cell there are mainly two types of intercellular respiration one of them is intracellular inside the cell and and outside the cell Inter inside the cell it's generally known as aerobic respiration another one is anaerobic respiration it discussed 
before aerobic respiration occur in our organism anaerobic occur in the lower organism aerobic in presence of oxygen anaerobic in absence of oxygen aerobic produces 686 kilocalorie energy with the help of anaerobic respiration only 56 kilocalorie energy produces and second one is extracellular outside the cell in the blood and the limb intercellular space is limb blood respiration or with the help of blood oxygen and carbon dioxide transport rbc of blood this transportation is known as a transportary organ blood act as a transporter they carry oxygen and carbon dioxide during inhalation and exhalation and second one is lymph what does lymph mean lymph is an intercellular fluid with the help of this fluid exchange of gases occur lymph act as a media when blood transfer oxygen first of all it transfer oxygen to the lymph and then the cell receives this oxygen from the lymph in this way cell release carbon dioxide first of all to the lymph and blood receives this carbon dioxide from the lymph in this way lymph act as a medium so these are the types of respiration that occur in the organisms